hello guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is for all the coffee addicts out there so i have selected seven coffee fragrances uh, two are two of them are designer and rest are niche so let's start with number seven this is a cheapie it's from the brand halloween and it's halloween man x so when this fragrance came out this was heavily hyped by our Jeremy fragrance. This is nothing groundbreaking, still a good coffee fragrance for the price. I think you can get this for around uh, $35 or so, so and I think it's 125 ml. Yes. So for the price, it's a nice coffee fragrance. You cannot expect a niche quality from this. And the coffee is blended with uh, whiskey and uh, I think there is a little bit of leather as well. So this smells uh, similar to some other fragrances like Salvatore Ferragamo Omo. If you like that kind of a fragrance, this is a bit similar to uh, that kind of a smell with a roasted coffee note. The coffee and leather but the coffee note is not too much prominent like it's not in your face coffee but if you're looking for a nice budget coffee fragrance you can definitely uh, check this out Halloween Manix number seven number six is another designer and this is Umo signature so there is an original Umo which has the which is famous for its uh, tiramisu vibe so this is a bit more matured version actually I prefer this over the original Umo because original Umo I thought it was like lacking in character but this has more depth with an added leather note and also coffee this gives me a little bit of uh, uh, similarity with perfumes de Marley Leighton as well so it's a very nice fragrance uh, one of the best budget fragrance you can buy and this has very good performance as well compared to Halloween Manax this performs uh, much more than that even more than the original this is a highly recommended coffee designer fragrance this has that tiramisu vibe but with more character and number five this is an uh, you can say inspiration or alternative to black phantom from Kilian this is insomnia fragrance name is insomnia and I think it's from Faviol Safari this smells very identical to uh, black phantom and I feel this is a bit more smoother version so the only thing is uh, you should like bitter uh, cacao based scents like this has that peanut butter peanut butter and cacao kind of smell and uh, the coffee is blended with all the notes like caramel, uh, vanilla, sandalwood so this is not an uh, like the coffee note is not uh, up front out there but blended with uh, dark chocolate and all other notes so this is kind of a bitter gourmand fragrance so you should like that kind of a uh, fragrance genre to appreciate insomnia this is very uh, good for cooler weather cooler seasons on number four this is from the brand unique luxury and the fragrance is hidden accords so this fragrance is similar to 100 silent ways from Nishani and one more other designer fragrance is there called black opium from YSL so this is kind of a niche version but this smells very uh, luxurious very high quality so this has coffee blended with vanilla and florals this is a great uh, unisex uh, perfume amazing so the coffee blends really well with the florals and vanilla nice vanilla and uh, I think this is a bit affordable from Unique Luxury this is an amazing fragrance if you like uh, black opium 100 silent base uh, you should check this fragrance superb and uh, coming to number three we have this one of my favorite I had already spoken about it coffee with oud oud and raspberry History is deep perfumes and the fragrance is Fidelis. This is known for the similarity with interlude but this is much more uh, wearable version 
more gourmandy the coffee raspberry and oud gives a very uh, gourmandy vibe but with smokiness and the oud is also prominent uh, in this one so this is my favorite oud fragrance with, mixed with uh, coffee i love this fragrance for cola season this is an amazing one from historic deep perfumes number 2 this is one of the hyped fragrance and it's from the house of montel intense cafe this was one of my earlier uh, niche fragrance purchase when i was uh, starting my journey along with the mansara sidrat boys sidrat boys area yeah. so intense cafe this is an amazing scent another unisex coffee some people say they don't get much of a coffee vibe i get my on my skin the coffee note is very prominent coffee vanilla and rose i think it is also similar to uh, roses vanilla from mansira but this has that uh, prominent coffee note it's amazing smelling got nice performance nice siage and you can get lot of compliments with intense coffee this is highly recommended from my side amazing coffee fragrance only thing is the bottle looks very plasticky and uh, all the montel bottles are like this you cannot uh, say how much Uh, juice is left it feels empty it's very lightweight so i don't prefer montel bottles but the fragrance is amazing intense cafe on number 1 without any doubt the king of coffee fragrance acro awake so this is straight up starbucks coffee wow that roasted coffee beans mixed with cardamom that's what acro awake is all about so if you want a straight up coffee which will as the name suggests it will wake you up acro awake so morning if you want your daily dose of coffee you can just put it you will get that refreshing uh, burst of energy with awake this is the most uh, realistic coffee scent i have encountered in my fragrance journey So this is my number one. Nothing more to say. The best coffee fragrance, hands down. And uh, there is one more from uh, Theodoros Kalotinis. It's called Coffee Addict. Unfortunately, I haven't tried that. But those who have tried, um, they, they praise that scent so much. They say it's also one of the best coffee fragrance. I think it's available in 50 ml. I only have lemon tart from that brand. But Coffee Addict is also a very good option. Uh, if you don't have acro awake you can maybe sample both are photorealistic coffee fragrances awake and uh, coffee addict so th- uh, as of now awake is my number one coffee fragrance and i uh, recently i heard one uh, one more cheapy fragrance and it, it i think it's from the brand called al rihab uh, and it's uh, f- fragrance is i think french coffee so uh, um, it's not available right now here in usa so uh, i haven't tried that one but i think uh, some youtubers have done review on that one and they say it smells like a um, like a caramel cappuccino or something so you can also check that out but for me right now acro awake is my number one coffee fragrance so that's it guys i'll be back with another fragrance video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and have a nice day thank you